What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video, and today, what do we always do? What do we always say when someone, some company, people affiliated with the company, people that represent the company, whenever fans speak out, whenever fans have a problem with the nonsensical business practices or the execution or the ideas or the creative vision of these companies, whenever fans speak out, we always have everyone connected to slam the fans, to blame the fans, to call us ist or isms or uh, phobes or toxic or whatever. It, it, the list goes on and on. They never just take responsibility. They never just take ownership of their problems that they created and try to learn from them. Well, the Xbox Series X yesterday had a press event. It got a lot of backlash. I covered it here on this channel. And now it seems that Aaron Greenberg, right here, Aaron Greenberg, uh, GM Xbox Games Marketing at Microsoft, uh, has responded to the criticisms in the best way you could imagine. Now, I am not the biggest Xbox fan. I'm absolutely not. But like I said in my video yesterday, Xbox, Microsoft had a great opportunity to capitalize off of the nonsense that's going on at Sony and Naughty Dog with how they are handling the Last of Us 2 situation, and they blew it. They screwed it all up. Well, well, here is how, this is how you respond to criticism right here. Now, this is someone that, you know, was defending Xbox, but Aaron Greenberg says, uh, had we not said anything and just shown May inside Xbox show like we did last month, I suspect reactions might have been different. Clearly, we set some wrong expectations, and that's on us. We appreciate all of the feedback, and I can assure you, we will take it all in and learn as a team. Wow. I mean, such a night and day response from this person at Xbox versus people at Sony versus people at Lucasfilm versus people at Marvel. This is the type of behavior we have to highlight. This speaks volumes right now. Now, again, unfortunately, this is how it should be. But we continue to find ourselves in situations where this never happens. So when it does happen, I think it is very important to highlight that. So please like, share the video, comment, get some traction on this because we want as many eyes on this as possible because this is how you handle it right now. We are in a time where so many people in the entertainment industry get so defensive based on criticism and they do not know how to deal with it. I worked in retail for a long time. All I dealt with was people complaining to me non-stop and I always had to sit there and take it I had to sit there and deal with it because that's the name of the game now you have these people connected to companies like Lucasfilm and Sony and they make horrible decisions they make terrible creative decisions with characters with games with films whatever and then once they get the backlash they start to call the fans ist isms and phobes just like Neil Druckmann did with the Naughty Dog situation when he got criticized for putting identity politics over good storytelling, destroying characters that people loved based off that first game, but now pushing your agenda and hooking up with Anita Sarkeesian to try to, you know, not have a, a misogynistic game, according to Neil Druckmann. Um, and they blame the fans. And he, and, he, and he posted on Instagram, talking about how you're ist and isms, we don't want your business, yada, yada, yada. Look, Xbox has made a lot of mistakes. And I've talked about those mistakes going back to E3, the fact they had no games, just really kind of out of touch with their fan base, and this is the way you fix it. Now, again, this is isolated. This could be one response, and the rest of people, uh, uh, you know, connected to Microsoft might just start, you know, shitting all over the fans. But it is important to highlight these situations when they happen, because this is the type of thing we're looking for. We're looking for people involved with the process to actually listen and learn from what the fans are upset about. And this is a great example of that. So again, I want to show you the tweet one more time. Had we not said anything and just shown May Inside Xbox show like we did last month, I suspect reactions might have been different. Clearly, we set some wrong expectations and that's on us. Amazing. Clearly, we set some wrong expectations, and that's on us. We appreciate all of the feedback and can assure you we will take it all in and learn as a team. So, 
congratulations to having people that understand how business works connected to you, Microsoft. I appreciate that. As a potential customer of both of your systems, I am much more satisfied with how you, Aaron Greenberg, and Xbox are handling your situation versus how Sony and Naughty Dog are handling their situation and Lucasfilm and so many of these other weirdo companies. So thank you for that. I appreciate that, and I know the majority of gamers are going to appreciate that. It doesn't mean that everything is just perfect. We're going to still need to see some actual games, some good games. We want to see Halo get back to its core roots, uh, so there's a lot you got to do, but this is a good way to begin that process. So thank you, Aaron Greenberg. We appreciate that. I appreciate that. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Solo Lost Money, Raylos are Weird, F Naughty Dog. And we will talk to you later.